Hey y'all, Joseph Farlong, the Sumo Size Ginger coming at you today. And today I want to talk to you about ways to get back on track following the holidays. I don't know about you all, but I've struggled to get back on track after the holidays. I took it off to enjoy time with my family and friends, and it never really seemed to stop because my family and friends kept coming over. Having said that, I wanted to talk to you about ways that I'm using in order to get back on track so I can maintain my weight loss goals. First off, and this one is the hardest one for me, I have to leave that holiday vibe behind. That laid back ease of spending time with friends and family while we're eating and doing whatever we really want to do together. I have to leave that behind. I need to get back on track with maintaining my fasting that way I can lose my weight, which means no when somebody offers me food. Second thing I have to do is clear all the stuff out of my fridge that's leftovers from the holidays. I know a lot of people who like to cook and they all love to share their food with me. I need to go through my fridge and make sure I clear out all the food that's unhealthy, get it out of there so it's out of sight, out of mind. Third, I have to go back to planning my meals. I'm usually pretty good at this and planning out what I want to eat, when I want to eat, how I want to eat it. And I need to get back to that. That'll help me maintain my schedule and my goals. Number four, why I make these videos. You have to get accountable. You can't rely on yourself to hold yourself accountable. I'm not saying that you can't hold yourself accountable, but when others are involved, you're much more likely to succeed when trying to move on. Number five, remember your why. Now, my why is because I am very, very much so somebody who's an active personality. I love going out and doing things. I love being able to enjoy life, but I'm struggling to do that because of my weight. So I need to maintain my why so that I stay on track in order to hit those goals so I can go back to having fun with my friends and family. Number six, set yourself some goals for this next year. I'm looking at trying to lose at least 50 pounds this year. If I don't lose 50 pounds, I'm going to be very disappointed in myself. So I want to set that as my goal so that I can use it to move forward. It's not an unattainable goal, but it is one that's going to be difficult. And that's what you need to do. Set a goal that's not going to be easy, but you feel you'll be successful at. Number seven, and this is my New Year's resolution. I'm pretty good at maintaining my diet when I'm actually doing it. The thing I struggle with is being able to exercise, move my body more. So that's my New Year's resolution this year is to increase how much I move around. That way I can add that exercise on top of my fasting, hopefully lose weight just that little bit quicker. At the same time, it'll help me build muscle and muscle helps to burn leftover fat. Number nine, of course, is to drink plenty of water, especially if you're doing intermittent fasting. That's how I make it so I don't feel as hungry. Most of the time when you're hungry, you're actually thirsty because we get 70% of our water from food. Staying properly hydrated can help you not be hungry in the long run. That's why make sure you're staying hydrated. Number nine, don't sweat the small stuff. This means you're never going to be 100% perfect and you shouldn't beat yourself up for it. Beating yourself up only reinforces the negative behavior and makes it so you're more likely to be less successful. So don't sweat it. If you make a mistake, just jump back on that wagon and make sure that you follow it through. Last, if you have not tried intermittent fasting, you may want to give it a shot. I found it much easier to maintain intermittent fasting as a lifestyle change than more as a diet. The only reason that I even stopped doing it was because the holidays were here. Otherwise, I'd probably still be right on track with how I was before. And that's why that number one reason is getting rid of that holiday mentality because that's the biggest issue for me is getting away from that eating every day with my friends and family to get back on track with my intermittent fasting. So that's 10 strategies I'm trying to use in order to get back on track after the holidays. I'd love to hear any strategies that you guys are using to get back on track for your weight loss goals. And I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all next time and I do hope you have a great evening. Later.